Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Excuse me, can I get up? I'm gonna get time real quick. Uh, sure. How you doing? My name is Jack. Um, I personally collaborated with Uplevel to help put a guaranteed $250 in your pocket. Are you interested? Uh, sure. By simply completing 10 deals and following these quick steps, you can do just that. But I'm gonna do yours right here. Okay. First, click the link in my description or scan the QR code above. Not only will these deals get you $250, but these deals include various free trials like Hulu, Disney, Cyrus, as well as downloading gaming apps. I'm gonna actually put your email in. Go ahead and drop your email in there. Anyone can get the $250, but I am personally giving away $1,000 split between four people who DM me showing proof of completing 10 deals. <laughs> It really worked. Like, you can do it <laughs> again, a, or like it's like a one time. So, you can do it by yourself again. You just gotta keep completing deals. Okay, that's cool. All Thank right. you. <laughs> so, if you guys wanna do it, make sure you scan the QR code or click the link in the description and go ahead and get to it. Today's loyalty test is a little bit different because David came to me with his girlfriend to put her best friend to the loyalty test. I personally don't think we need to be here. I feel like it's unneeded. I really don't feel like I need to explain myself more than that. So he reached out to me, he basically touched on more so that he felt like because he is a guy, he's able to tap into a side that you can't see, where it's like your best friend is lusting over you type shit, and you're not noticing it. Right. So that's what he came to me and said. So how would you feel if he had a girl best friend? I mean, shit. And, <laughs> and I'm just asking, like, how would you feel if he had a girl best friend and every time you was at work, they was hanging out, she was over at the crib, and when you're not at the crib, would you not feel a certain way? Again, I exactly. Like, hmm. Ain't no exactly though, because I always told you to check your like at the end of the day that's your Same way I do for you, but you don't be listening. It's not it's not his bitch, it's his best friend. See what I'm saying? You already defensive. So now you can kinda see where he's coming from and reaching out to me and saying, Hey, let's check your nigga if you wanna put it that way. Because I feel like if you know about him at this point and you know that's the relationship we have, that's my best friend, you should again, you know. So, so why don't I have to tell you something you know? So because huh. he knows he's your best friend, he can come over any, any If he was to try to get with you and say something to you on I'm that level you. of I'm going to tell you. Okay, what I you going to do about the situation, though? What do you mean? I'm going to come and let you know how we move about the situation. Okay, how but how, how I'm supposed to know that you, in that moment, when he bringing it up, that's what you're going to do. Like, you're not going to do nothing with him, and you're going to tell so me. So why would I need to have you as my boyfriend and him as my best friend if I'm going to do that? Anymore? What you need him for? I mean, he's just been my best friend. Uh -huh. I mean, she got a boy best friend. Knowing if he had a girl best friend, she wouldn't like it. Simple. I feel like at the end of the day, with having a best friend, especially at the opposite sex, boundaries definitely have to be set. Mm -hmm. Now, as a man, if my girl had a, a boy best friend, I would have that conversation with her, but it should have never got to the point of him feeling this uncomfortable to reach out to me and be like, Jack, can you put this guy on a loyalty test? Because obviously something he's feeling a certain way, and I feel like you're not taking that into account. But we don't got to do the loyalty test. It's really up to y'all. We're going to do this loyalty test. If he fail, you're going to have to choose between me or him. I mean, I guess so. Y'all putting him to a test. Y'all pretty much putting it in front of him. Y'all putting the cake in front of the fat I mean, saying, are you going to eat or you're not going to eat? No, that's your best, best friend, though. You if, it's, if, best he's, friend. if he's genuinely your best friend mm -hmm. and he do not look at you as cake, he ain't going to eat you. Okay, then we're going to see. You feel me? Yeah. But do you agree with that? Yeah. We are. That's why I said we're going to see. If that's yeah. what he feel comfortable doing, then have to decide. The purpose of a loyalty test is to create a scenario in which your partner is tested by any means. You're either loyal or you're not. There is no in between. So personally, I feel like she she had something going on, bro, because she ain't want really want to do the test. She kept fussing with him about doing the test. Why I got to test him? Why I got to test him? Like, so I'm like, man, I ain't gonna lie. She probably is really doing something. I wanted to get more research on the topic, so I went out in public by myself and conducted interviews to get more perspective. And the question I will be asking everyone is, would you allow your significant other to have a best friend of the opposite sex? I feel like if, if it was the other way around, he didn't want me to have a guy best friend mm -hmm. because he felt some type of way. I would respect that and I would expect him to respect my decision. If okay, I let me ask you this. Do you feel like a guy is capable of having a girl best friend? Hell no. Yeah. If they're disciplined enough. Would you allow your girl to have a uh, boy best friend? That shit did. That shit did? Why not? Huh? Why not? That shit did. I'm a boy best friend, so I know that shit. You know what we do. We you know how that shit go. Boy man. best friend, beat cheeks. Yeah. Why not? Man, hell no. Nah. I don't just want to fuck, bro. Like, hell no, nah, bro. Hey, do you have a boy best friend? I do. He right there. Where? He right here. That's my oh, best friend. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Appreciate you. What? Have you ever had a girl best friend? No, because I want to fuck. I would actually because I completely trust her. I like 
Do not think that any could compare to me at all. I would allow okay. him because I trust him and he already know that if he do something, I'm gonna go upside his head. It ain't happening. I'm from Chicago. We don't play Why not? Why not? Of a, of a my boy best friend. I know I'm taking my best friend out. So basically, what you, so basically, what you saying is you be your best friend. Yeah. I please, hey, I please the feel. Why not? Cause all dudes just wanna, and all girls just wanna. I got caught up yeah, yeah. trying to f my best friend, but I still here on hood. So based off the interviews that we conducted, you guys, this loyalty test can actually go 50-50. Judging from the initial meetup, we can obviously tell that David had a problem with Coco's best friend because he was a guy. His main concern is Coco hanging out with her best friend while he's at work. He also expressed, regardless of Coco not having no intentions on having sex with her best friend, that his intuition was telling him that her best friend wasn't genuine. Later in the week, me and the team got everything together and we went to Coco's house, where she reached out to her best friend to get him to come over and act like everything was normal. What was the reason you talked about him over? I told him to come over just so I can do his hair. Every time you want to do his hair. I'm not doing his hair every time. You always do his hair? No. You did that before? I've done like once before. No, I'm not. Every time you come over here, he's yeah, not getting his hair done. No, he's not. Well, just call him. Just call him and give him a call. All right. Speaking. 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 What's your company? What you doing? Shit, just shut up. Are you free? Yeah, I'm free. So. Uh, now you need to get your hair done. You can come over and get it done fast. I ain't gonna have Alright. Be safe. Alright. Is Kyle aware of his work schedule? Nah, 100 percent. I'll say yeah. Yes and no. It's more so off the time that I invite him over. Why you don't know about my Cause you're not his man. Okay, but like, I'm your man, so why he don't know about what I'm doing? Uh, because my best friend is tied to me. My oh. man is my man. Bro, do y'all hang out? So, Have y'all ever all hang out together? No. Why was that? He's not comfortable, you see what he's doing now. So, so uh, I'm just trying to get impression that you call yeah. your guy best friend. Well, I mean, if you're trying to get to know him, you can't be the Text him real fast and see, like, how far he is away. But do you know how far he is away? I can tell from the first interaction that Coco really don't want to do this test. So the only thing that bothers me about this loyalty test, you guys, is that we have to rely on Coco to be honest and not sabotage this test and giving him any type of signals to throw it all off. Um, quick question. How far are you? I need to clean. Uh, all right, that's good. I can get that. See you in a minute. But if she happens to do that, then we know something has to be up. Basically, don't jeopardize the integrity of the test. Like, you know that he's on the test, so really try to get the answer out of it. Okay. So. I'll say so. You good? Yeah. All right, let's get you outside, bro. Put it full up. We only got 15. Yeah. So now that Coco's best friend is on the way, me and the team set up cameras in their position to go ahead and execute this test. What's poppin', what's poppin' with it? So why would you dab my hand up if you got shit on your hand, bro? Please make it make sense. Should be in like that left drawer, I think. You feel like I'm tripping? Like, if you had a good best friend, Make sure you clean up after yourself. And your your girlfriend have a boy best friend. Would you do it? I hear that. <laughs> like I am? You think I'm driven? Well, I I never have a girl best friend. She had a boy best friend. We it'll be definitely boundary set, but he'll never come to the crib if I'm not there. I just feel like that's that's disrespectful all the way around, regardless of the intentions or not. When you gonna bring my hair? Uh, about that. Okay, look. So I'm gonna do it, eventually, you know, eventually. Why you touching stuff? Like you know how to do hair. I can't touch it? No. But anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna do it eventually, but I got a couple things I wanna ask you and talk about. Sorry. Hmm? What? Like a couple things between us type shit. And not just your hair. 
Uh, okay, so you ready? Um, first question. Do you think I'm pretty? Do you think I'm pretty? Yes or no? Outside of the whole like best friend shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Do you think I'm pretty? Yes or no? Is you gonna do my hair or what? I'll do it after we have our talk. Dang. <laughs> like what the f you being rude. But um so besides the whole friendship, let's put the whole friendship to the side, okay? Right, do you think I'm fine? Like it. if you was to meet me on the street today, I was not nothing to you. How would you act? Yeah, you pretty. Why are you, bro? I came here to get my hair done. I know you came here to get your hair done. But, like I said, I'm trying to have a conversation, a real conversation, like I'm saying. Because I feel like it needs to be had. It's been a very long time. We've been friends. And I felt like there's some kind of tension in between us. But I don't really know how to explain it. So, do you feel like there is any tension or anything between us more than, you know? Tension? Yeah. Bro, what are you talking about? You ain't about? never heard of tension before? I know what tension. Bro, what are you talking about? Bro, do you like me, yes or no? Like. Like you as a friend or like you what? Past the French. How many times I gotta say that? We talking about me and you right now. Like, I'm, I'm dead ass asking you right now, just me and you, nobody else. Say the world is ours and we're the only two people living on it. Everything else you keep trying to bring up. <laughs> like, I don't get it. You being yeah, my like, question, so much. Bad, you just ask like, question. Let's start from point one. Like I said, there's nobody else in the world. All right, just all right, us two. All right. All right. So, okay. Do you think I'm pretty? You asked that. I said yes. Okay, so next question. Would you act on how you felt? You know what I'm saying? Like, because you find me pretty. Bro, you need to speak, speak your words, speak with your chest. Well, okay. So, I, I really don't know how to ask this. Like, I don't know how, I don't know how to ask it. Um, they probably just uncomfortable. You wanna come sit with me on the couch? We could just start there. I feel like the talk might be better there. I'm cold and shit, so yeah, let's just, let's just go. You're uncomfortable. Both of them, it's a lot of sitting and shit, being on formal. It's making me nervous, and I can't ask you how I want to. Come on. <sighs> you wanna get under the cover with me? You don't wanna get under the cover with me? Bro, you being weird. I don't think I'm being weird. I'm just trying to ask you a question and make it more personal, boy. You kinda like taking it weird. You don't wanna get under the cover, yes or no? Like No, bro. Okay, fuck it. Whatever. But back to these questions, because I feel like you're not really answering them directly. When I'm sorry. We're gonna go back to the whole I'm pretty sh yes. But when you think I'm pretty, like, in what position is that? As a friend. But you ain't never thought about being more than friends, like. <laughs> You're weird, bro. Come on. She talking about speed. That's what I'm saying. You ain't never thought about being more than friends. Like, you ain't never thought about uh, dating. You ain't never thought about no, anything. No. What you thinking? What you gotta say? What the fuck just came coming like right out the blue, like? Like I said, it, it didn't come out the blue. It was just something that I didn't know how to bring up to you. So it was just like I, I suppressed it, but I didn't know how to bring it up to you. So it's kind of like. I'm trying to. F I mean, more than that, but that too. We can start there. How's it crazy? What's crazy about it? I'm just talking like that for no reason. You think it's for no reason? I wouldn't be telling you we could f if it was for no reason. I gotta think about it. But, um, you gotta think about it. I don't mean it's a yes or no question. Would you like to stick with yes or no? Shit, I mean. Yeah, why not? Well, why not? Huh? Why not? Yes, I want to. Okay. <laughs> you want to. Been on, you want to. You want to. You science. want to what? Why you getting all mad? I'm. I, I'm asking you a question. You just want to what? You was just telling me. You want to what? I want to. That's it, Dad. Man, look. I told you. Hey, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, y'all ready?
All right, Gabe, go ahead, Gabe. Come on, man. So Coco literally just asked David to have sex with her, and he actually agreed. So there's no need to watch anymore. Me and David decided to go ahead and go in. What, what, what the hell? What's been going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been undercover. Just respecting the boundaries, man. Respecting whose boundaries? Because if you're my best friend, you shouldn't want to fuck me at all. How you playing with me? I mean, I just asked you a question. It was just to see how you honestly felt. I'm not playing with you at the end of the day. That's just how you felt. So it was just like... Because it's like, if that's how you felt, why didn't you take the chance to do it before? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been plenty of times where I didn't have no type of situation, no kids, no none of that. So like... I need you to my house right now. Get up. Unfortunately, I cannot post this part of the video, you guys. If you want to see the full clip, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the description down below. But to give you guys a little insight, Gabe will explain exactly what happened. So I seen stuff about to get the hostile, so I went and grabbed him. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed him. We tested him. I fell on the couch, picked him up, started going towards the front door. Thomas came to help me, and boom, I stole some trash. Got back up, grabbed him, got him out of there. I ain't gonna lie, man. He was a big dude. You know what I'm saying? So I grabbed him, did the best I can do, but Thomas came to help me, so it's all good. Get up out of here. So once the best friend was escorted out, I then went back inside the house to see how David and Coco was gonna deal with this. At the end of the day, we wouldn't even figure out he was on that shit unless we brought him here. Oh, oh, so that was that? I mean, it but was because it was a boundary that was respected. Like, at the end of the day, obviously, it was not going to happen. Like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it wasn't going to happen, but that's how he thinks. So, if you were to give him that position, he was going to take if it. If I give position. him that position. So, other than that, he's not getting no position. Oh, oh, okay. But so, obviously, I have not given him that position. Like, that's, that's so you feel like the integrity of the test was diluted because we actually put him to the test? Like put him in a situation that would never occur? Because I feel like that's that. At least from the conversation that we was having during the testing, yeah. Like at the end of the day. But at the end of the day, he didn't know that this was a test. So if, yeah. that, if that time... But at the same time, if I didn't force that yes out of him, he wouldn't have been thinking Regardless, we tested his genuineness and he didn't know he was on a test and he failed. So you can't say, oh, that we put him to the test. You know what I'm saying? You can't say that because you never know. What if y'all would have went now? He got drunk. He would have tried it. Why would he want his girl around anything like that? And I'm only I can only relate because I'm a, I'm a man as well. You guys in the comments feel like you're a female and you want to drop in the comments your perspective. Go ahead and do that. But don't try to feel the same way. Yeah. At the end of the day, it was a test, so he failed. Look, look, look. All I gotta say is you gotta choose between me or him. Well, you just kicked him out. So where the hell is the choice? The choice yeah, is gone. You can go too. At this point, you can go too. Where? Yeah. That's what you want? Yeah, you can go too. All right, babe. This is replaceable. For sure. Yeah. Keep that shit. Hey, you want to come back and clean your mess? I'm you not cleaning shit. Clean your mess. Y'all got fucked up. Y'all got fucked up. Y'all got fucked up. Y'all fucked up. Y'all fucked up. Oh, look. We fucked this up. Y'all fucked up. Period. Like, this is your mess. This is never happening. I'm not cleaning shit. I'm not cleaning shit. I'm not cleaning shit. You go downstairs, right? You go downstairs. Kick me out. Kick me out. So you can clean your I don't even like you talking about. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Uh, damn. That shit crazy as fuck, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about. I appreciate it, man. It's unfortunate that it unfolded like that, bro, but at the end of the day, you got your peace, you got your space. Shit. You made the decision. So I was fucked up now. Nah, that shit, you can clean this shit. But you want some cleaners, hit me up. I'll bring it out of me. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need that shit. For sure. But, uh, whenever you need something, bro. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. So I didn't expect David to actually kick Coco out the house as well, but I understand 100% at the end of the day, she was taking up for her best friend when she should have chose her loyalty with her boyfriend. I hope bro, keep going, keep, keep going and push that shit, man, and get rich, man. I respect it, man. These young Jack off.